Okay, so as probably most of you know, the gig at the Tabby Cat was postponed, which means we no longer need our sunglasses. <laughs> Um, so I have been feeling like I'm in a limbo because, um, it wasn't canceled, it was postponed, and I don't have a postponement date yet. I, um, got the message and I just, it, uh, seemed to indicate that there was something going on with the tabby cat, so I didn't push, I didn't inquire. I didn't, um, and they want to uh, reschedule, so there is a rescheduling coming up in the future. I said that, you know, I would, um, contact them in a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks, but I haven't contacted them. I think I'm going to let a little bit more time go by. Um, I'll probably contact them next week or so, right? Um, so... What I've been feeling, though, what, what's been going on with me is that I'm, I'm in this limbo period. So now I, I feel I'm off center. Prior to the gig, I was going through what I call the tunnel. I was like super high focused on the gig and the music because you know I'm uh, I'm was still working on the new sound and preparing that new sound we did preview it once before but this time things are so much more intense um, with the mixing and my work so um, it feels like this is like that was the preview and this is the debut and uh, I was so intensely working on that at every available moment. Um, and if I would have had the gig, I would still be in that post gig without having another gig lined up, post gig um, uh, limbo, right? Uh, but because the gig was postponed, because I didn't have the gig, it's a sort of a double whammy, as it were, right? Because I, I did all the work for a gig, and I got into the tunnel and was highly focused, and then the gig never happened, right? So I'm like in this nebulous zone. I don't know when the next gig is coming up. I actually didn't have the last gig. So it's kind of like this, um, I'm off center and I'm not, I'm not focused. I'm kind of wishy-washy. This is my birthday month. I coordinated my gig so that it would be around my birthday. And, uh, so I'm in this birthday zone, didn't have the gig zone, prepared for the gig zone, post zone. You know, all of this has just kind of got me in some kind of weird off focus. So that's where I'm at. Because of the gig, I've been really digging into the music, not just the guitar parts, but the music, all the other music, the drums and the synth sequences. So I have laid down the groundwork for the EP. So, why book the gig right away, you know, first Friday September as opposed to first Friday August, right? No, I think that what I should do is book a gig in October, first Friday October, or even November, so that I can dig into the guitar and voice parts because I don't have a uh, voice for uh, most of my songs, quite frankly. It's, it was a very convoluted process where I got to where I am today. And I'm actually looking forward to the future 
where I can start creating a song in a much different way than I have been. Um, and that's, that's something I'll get into later on. But none of that energy and work has been wasted. I am, I am, I am close to completing an EP that is uh, to my satisfaction. An EP of the new sound, which is the keyboard sound, um, three songs off of Sublimate, Tears of the Phoenix, Spirit Molecule, which is now called Walk Away, and Failed to Heed. And um, I'm really happy with where they're at. And I think instead of having simply a gig, right, where I share these as they are developing, because uh, that's what the whole concept was, uh, now I can reschedule the Tabby Cat gig for somewhere, let's say, instead of September, instead of right away, right, August, September, no, no, let's do October or even November. And let's have it as an EP release party. I'll, I'll complete the EP with guitar and voice because so much work has been done on the other aspects of the music. And, um, and I'll play live and I'll share it with everyone and it'll be a celebration. And uh, I like that idea. That sounds good. That sounds cool. And uh, being in October and November, we won't need we won't need uh, we won't need our sunglasses when we're, when we're there to see it. <laughs> It'll be dark, <laughs> and I like that idea. <laughs>